Here at NSU, we want to make sure you graduate. We'll tell you how. Plus, we will have all your NSU sports and weather coming up. I'm Caitlin Knight. And I'm Jordan Ginn. Your news starts now. NSU held a party on campus to showcase a new program. Caitlin Knight has more on the QEP program and how they hope to use this to help students graduate. The Quality Enhancement Plan, QEP, is a new program starting at NSU to help enhance the success of future students. Over the next five years, this program will give students of all majors the ability to participate in one of the following high education practices a capstone course, an internship, or a thesis project. Participating in one of these higher education practices will provide a better chance of getting a good job after graduation. Students should be interested in the QEP or the Quality Enhancement Plan because it's going to directly affect their curriculum studies and most importantly their preparation for career or perhaps graduate work. The QEP is focusing on what we call senior capstone experiences, and there are three that the university is primarily focusing on um, in this initial phase of the QEP. And that would be an internship. They could be doing undergraduate research, or they might be participating in a performance or showing perhaps a project or portfolio they've completed during their course of study here at NSU. For more information, contact Dr. John Dollar, QEP Chair and Professor of Health and Human Performance, or go to nsula.edu, Learning for Life. For NSU News, I am Caitlin Knight. We are going to need a good QEP program because our numbers are on the rise. The faculty and staff on campus did a great job of retention for the spring semester, and the figures prove it. Northwestern has seen an increase in enrollment of 540 students in the spring semester 2017. This 6.1 percent increase has been the highest for a spring term at the university since 2006 and the largest gain in spring semester enrollment since 2003. Well, I think the increase in our uh, enrollment numbers for the spring is a testament to a lot of people. Uh, our faculty uh, that who have worked really hard not only recruiting students but working together with students to help retain students. During the fall semester the state of Louisiana cut the TOPS program but Northwestern was prepared. Our administration who uh, you know again made the decision to to fund the TOPS scholarship for our as the state cut the uh, top scholarship Northwestern of course picked up uh, the difference in that. and I think financially that that helps uh, a number of students as well. Students from across the area choose Northwestern for many factors, not only cost of tuition. I think a lot of factors uh, factor into whether a student chooses Northwestern or not. Uh, I think Northwestern, as, as a university, you know, we realize who we are, and I think we provide opportunities for students to excel. Mm -hmm. I really believe that by us focusing on our, our strategic uh, plan, uh, academic excellence, Mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, a student experience that's second to none, market responsiveness, mm -hmm. uh, community engagement, mm -hmm. and uh, athletic prominence. I really think that when we visit with students, we try to tell them exactly how the university is going to be. We want them to excel in the classroom, but we also want them involved outside the classroom. For more information on NSU, visit nsula.edu. For your NSU News, I am Carola Colo. Did you have a fun time at Mardi Gras? Some students didn't get a chance to go to New Orleans, but they did have some fun too. While Mardi Gras may be widely known for an exciting time in downtown New Orleans, these NSU students had a different experience over the break. 
I did not know anything about Mardi Gras. But what I did on my break was I went to Revival. It was my birthday weekend. I went to the Revival. It was good. I heard about all the parades and stuff, but I never really went to one. Over the break, I really didn't uh, participate in any Mardi Gras activities. I didn't go to any parades, but I did watch a lot of them on Snapchat. For Mardi Gras break, I went home and I work at a bakery in Baton Rouge, so um, I was there like every day of Mardi Gras selling king cakes and stuff, and we sold like thousands of king cakes. It was my, ne my nephew's first Mardi Gras, so, and he had fun or whatever, and I don't know nothing about like Mardi Gras like history and all, but I enjoyed myself. For NSU News, I'm Crystal Sowells. Theater West has been, a very, has been very active this past few weeks, and you can see what's been going on starting tonight. The theater department in the School of Creative and Performing Arts will be holding an opening night at 7.30 p.m. when they perform Hedda Gabler. Longtime NSU director Dr. Jack Wan believes that this is a play every student should see. It's a play about a woman who is trapped by a society that has no place for her, and ultimately she has to resort to cruelty, things like that, in order to uh, survive. Um, in Hedda Gabler, I play Berta. I'm the family's maid, so I have all of the inside scoop into the family dirt, and I have just been transferred from a family that treats me less like a servant and more like a family member to a mistress who sees me more as an indentured servant. So it's a definite change in environment. The show is of a woman who is very bored in her life. She is extremely intelligent and therefore cannot relate to the others around her. So because of that, she uses her wit and her charm to manipulate and to control people around her like a game. It's very interesting, so I hope everyone can come see it. We've all worked extremely, extremely hard on the show and we would love to share it with everyone. Hedda Gabler will run in Theater West March 8 to the 11th at 7.30 p.m. A special matinee on Sunday, March 12th at 2 p.m. For ticket information, contact the Creative and Performing Arts Department at 318-357-4483. And as always, NSU students get in free with current student ID. For NSU News, I am Regis Perry. So Matthew, how's the weather looking this week? Well, it's looking pretty sunny. The temperature dropped kind of low, but we have more of that after the break. Student media is a very creative community, and I really wanted to be able to put my own creativeness to a test and actually produce something practical at the same time. So being in yearbook is the perfect opportunity, and then at the end of it, I get a portfolio piece for if I decide to go to college or work or anything like that. I, I love working with staff. Uh, potpourri and currant sauce, is, it's a big old family. And I've learned a lot of skills that I can take not only in student media, but into a professional work if I decide to go that route. At Northwestern, I'm involved in the Current Sauce, the newspaper, and also the Student Activities Board. And both of them, I've had a lot of like growing experiences and just like learning responsibility. Time management is a huge thing with school and work and then also student involvement. It's time management and balance is like the biggest thing. It's definitely made me come out of my bubble a little bit and do things that I didn't know how to do my freshman year and even my sophomore year. I'm learning new things constantly about technology and about different career paths that I didn't think I'd go down. Student media has been very interesting. So it's been a lot of fun. It's given me the chance to actually make a lot of friends along doing a lot of work for the university. Staff isn't like, oh, we work professional together. We do, of course, but they're your best friends outside of the station, outside of the office. You're doing work together, but you're also kicking it after class with them and, and going on hood nanigans, all types of fun adventures. And you work with, it's like working with a family. You can't get that anywhere other than student media. And despite the degree I'm getting at the end of my time in school here, the experience is really what matters. And student media really gives you a diverse set of skills that you can apply to 
any variety of career. Like I said, we'll be right back after the break. I'm Arthur Craig, and I'll be covering your NSU weather today. Let's take a look at our temperatures, our current conditions. Temperatures sitting at 72, humidity is at 29%, and winds are going eight miles per hour currently right now. For our Louisiana temperatures, up high in northern Louisiana, Shreveport is at 72. Right here in Alexander is at 70. Further south in Baton Rouge is 73. And right there at the tip in New Orleans is 69, 68, I'm sorry, so that's pretty low. And on demon Doppler radar, everything is clear skies. Nothing's coming our way. Like I said before the break, it's sunny outside, so God enjoy this weather. There's nothing coming our way right now. Everything's clear and um, beautiful outside. Coming below in the Gulf, we have something that passed through us, but it just missed us. It's right over here in Texas, and it's going right under us all the way to Florida. So it's nothing coming our way. In Texas, they're getting a little rain, and Florida down in the south of Louisiana, they might get a little something, but nothing our way. And tonight, our low will be 54, so that's cool temperature, so you may need a light coat. And tomorrow, our high is 76, so that's warm weather. So get out and enjoy that beautiful weather, everyone. And for our five-day forecast, Thursday, it's a 76 for the high, 60 for a low. Friday, they start our weekend out. It's cloudy with a 72 for the high and 57 for the, for the low. And Saturday, that's when that rain was passing through. That's when it's coming our way with rain Saturday and 71 for the high, 41 for the low. And the end of weekend out, it's partly cloudy, 62 for the high, 38 for the low. And they start our weekend, they start our week out, I'm sorry, 68 for the high, 43 for the low. So that's beautiful weather throughout the week. Some rain is coming Saturday, but there's no reason to get out and enjoy this weather. That's it for me. Back to break. Today is our Spring Inside View Day. It's an opportunity for high school juniors, seniors, and their parents to explore our beautiful campus and to get a taste of what it's like to be a dean. Being in shape is something we all think about and ROTC cadets are no different. And a NSU department on campus is making sure they are ready. 
Northwestern State University of Louisiana's Senior ROTC Program and the Department of Health and Human Performance have recently established a partnership to prepare cadets for their future career as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Katherine Carlson believes this is a win-win for both the university and the senior NSU ROTC program. I believe that if we can get the cadets started early, you know, as freshmen and sophomore, understanding the proper methods and the proper techniques for weight training, um, they'll build core strength, they'll build body strength, which will help them with foot marches, it will help them with um, a lot of the uh, very taxing, physical taxing schools that they're going to be um, attending in their future, whether it's a uh, Bullock Basic Officer Leadership uh, course or Ranger School or Airborne School or Air Assault School. I mean, um, the list is, is endless, but they need to be uh, physically, physically fit. Dr. Benjamin Gleason, assistant professor of the HHP department, is happy to support this RTC program in this venture. Putting together training studies with the cadets should help us kind of narrow um, what qualities are beneficial for military performance in certain tasks. For more information on the NSU Senior RTC Program or the Department of Human Health Performance, visit nsula.edu. For NSU News, this is Taimata Luofalemano. America's pastime has started its season at NSU, but this year there is a new leadership. Jeff Santos has the story. The Damon baseball team is under new management, but not someone new to the program. Coach Bobby Barbier played for the Northwestern during his college career. But being a player and a coach are two different things. Oh, it's, it feels great. I, I knew when I wanted to coach, I knew I wanted to be a coach growing up. My dad was a football coach, and um, one of the reasons I came to NSU as a player was because of the, the strong tradition of coaches we've had here. Um, so I always had that in the back of my mind. That's something I'd wanted to do when, when, uh, when I got when I finished my playing career. So very fortunate to be able to be the coach here. I, I love Natchitoches and love love Northwestern State. Being a head coach means you are in charge of more than bats and balls. Ah, uh, the amount of calendars that I have. I've got a bunch of calendars. A lot more than I had as a pitching coach. And just you know, the overall organization of the program, you know, and and from recruiting to how the field looks, to how we're playing, to the fan experience, to everything. We, we want to make sure that, you know, it kind of stops with me now. And I uh, want to make sure the entire experience for the fans and for the players is something that, that we're proud of at Northwestern. So that's probably, that's probably what it is. Coach Barbary wants to encourage the fans to come out and support these demons. Oh, there's plenty of reasons. Um, but just a couple, I mean, we. We've got a group of guys that, that love to play and love to compete and play hard and they play the tail off and they play for our school. Um, they play for Natchitoches and, and that's what, you know, Northwestern State is such a big part of Natchitoches. Uh, the new things we have here, um, we've got the jump houses for the kids, we've got the, the cooking club, we've, um, we've done some, got a new sound system, we've done some real nice things to, to upgrade the fan experience here. And uh, baseball is a great game. It's good to come out, we've had great weather. Um, to see some guys compete for Northwestern State and for Natchitoches. For more information about NSU baseball, visit NSUdemons.com. For NSU News, I am Jeff Santos. So Regis, NSU sports was pretty busy this weekend. What do we have going on? Well, the NSU Demon baseball and basketball team were both in action this weekend. And we have Dad Boyd, NSU Demon Sports Blitz. Chris Waddell Day is um, it's in uh, memory of a young man that came here and went to school uh, at Northwestern from New Orleans, from Holy Cross High School. His mom uh, wanted to uh, always recognize what Chris type of person he was. He's a very uh, caring person, very generous person, and uh, very dedicated to, uh, to, to his education and to playing football. And, um, so it's really great for us to be able to get out, uh, one, you know, to remember Chris and what kind of person he was, but also to be in the community and get to hang out with the kids and see the teachers. And, you know, it's, a, it's just a really enjoyable day for us. They're role models for our kids. And so it shows them what they're working towards, what they can be, but also how much hard work these guys put in in order to be where they are. And so, so many of our little boys and even girls 
play football outside. And so this is huge for them. So much excitement. These football players and the rest of our football team go above and beyond to get into our community and get these kids involved in football. But today is all about being a good athlete, a good student, and a good community member. And that's important for our kids to see that it goes beyond the football field. I think it's very important that we go out in the community and encourage kids to um, work their hardest at anything that they want to do, but also keep in mind that education comes first. But it's also very important to me that we keep Chris's legacy going here at NSU. Chris would be ecstatic that we're continuing everything that he was going to bring here to NSU and um, it means so much to our family to have you guys continue this every year. Welcome back Demon fans, I'm Regis Perry and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. The Lady Demons team ended the regular season last Saturday with a loss to Central Arkansas 62-51. But even with the loss, they made it into the Southland Conference Tournament as the 8th seed and would take on 5th seed Texas A&M Corpus Christi Thursday at 11 a.m. The game can be seen on ESPN3 and as always heard on the Demon Sports Network 100.7 KZBL. The Demon basketball team had a weekend of bad news and good news. First with the bad news, because of some wins and losses by other teams in the conference over the weekend, the Demons did not make the tournament this year. But on, the, on to the good news, the men finished the seed, season with a win over Central Arkansas on Saturday, 97-83. And even better news was that on Saturday, Saturday senior Zeke Woodley became the all-time leading scorer in school history by breaking a 40-year-old record. Zeke finished his career at NSU with 2,000 and 33 points. In baseball action, the Demons were at Kansas this weekend and were able to win the final game of a three-game series with the Jayhawks with a 7-6 extra inning win. The Demons then headed over to Kansas State where they lost, lost yesterday 16-4 and are playing the second game of the series today as our newscast is going on. The Demons return home this weekend for a three-game Southland series with Nichols State to get out and so we get out and cheer on this, week, this weekend, Demons. And softball action, make sure you get out there for the Lady Demons Go Home opener tonight as they take on number 15, Baylor. First pitch is at 5 p.m. with the second game starting around 7 p.m. And for all your Demon Sports coverage, make sure you go to NSUDemons.com to get your game recap schedules and more from the NSU Sports Information Department. And that will do it for your Demon Sports Blitz. I'm Regis Perry. That will do it for this edition of NSU TV News. I'm Jordan Ginn. And I'm Kaylin Knight. Have a great night. Drop fell through the chain.